everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. We are back in our sorting series. I do not know what part this is at this point. So we're back with my reusable albums today because I've decided that I want to finish sorting out leftovers. We have been away in Newcastle over Christmas, which is where my partner's family are from. And I, it's quite far. <laughs> it's, um, it's about five hours drive from where we live, but also, we had really bad traffic on both journeys. It took us eight hours the first time and seven hours the second time. It was pretty horrible. But, and, and I feel really bad because I don't drive, so Stuart has to do all the driving. But I did take stickers with me to do. I had a big, I don't know if I've shown them in a, in a previous series here, but I had a huge two or three uh, planner face cellos, which were really chunky, full of stuff I needed to put away. It was years of stickers that needed sorting out. And I took them with me for my trip and I sorted them all. So really exciting. I'm sorry I didn't do it on camera, but it's just the perfect activity for me to do in the car. So I thought I would show you what I've done because that's kind of fun. And you know, then we can talk about what I'm actually planning to do today. So the categories I haven't changed up. I've just added the stickers. So the Stuart section, still pretty small. The family time section and the friend section have got a lot of scripts there now. What I love about the reusable albums is just the like satisfaction of Planner Face Doodles all together. <laughs> so I love these movie ones. So this is TV and movies. Movies, I've then been adding my leftover marquees. I think I have more of these to add in my stack. But yeah, they, I have several pages for movie marquees. Then we get into food, which I think does possibly need to grow. And in which case we'll take some of the movie pages. One of the things I was doing other than just taking stickers off of samplers and, and stuff like that or spare kits and putting them in here was I was also moving around categories. It's something that I started over a year ago of trying to resort out the distribution of my stickers. I really focused on doing it in the car and made good progress, but some of them are still not quite right and I really don't want to keep moving them. So I'm hoping things will just work out. But yeah, the food section, I was trying to split by types of food, but then the breakfast all kind of merged with lunch and th so this page has got a little bit out of control we've got cakes chocolates ice creams donuts so the thing is i have about six months of spreads to use stickers on so i figure a lot of these will probably go just once i like fill out those spreads we have baking and cooking then kind of general like knife and fork or fork and spoon <laughs> stickers and then picnic Drinks, so I don't drink coffee or tea, but I have multiple pages of coffee and tea drinks. I actually use these stickers now to mark socializing with friends. So, or if I have like catch ups with people at work or if I have meetings with people at work. So if, if I was marking like um, a catch up with a colleague or something, I actually use these stickers. I don't drink tea or coffee with them and we don't go out to drink tea or coffee. We just sit in a meeting room, but I feel like it works well. It gets me through those stickers, which is good. So then we get into the workout and hygiene. That hasn't grown too much. These sections, I had a lot of those filled out anyway. We then get into my sort of general personal care section. So we have sickness. I have so many me time stickers. It's something that I just don't mark, but I really need to mark. But me time, I find is quite a general phrase. It's like, well, what am I doing? But if I put a sticker that marked it, maybe that would be clearer. But then if I'm reading, which is what I typically do for me time, I like to mark the book I'm reading. So I may never get through those, I don't really know. Um, then we have sleep time. These are quite good. These were from SPC freebies. These were all from freebies. That That's like how many, I honestly had about two years of stickers to put away. But these, I decided, I don't love these stickers, like I wouldn't choose to buy them, but I think that they look cute for like this purpose of marking sleep, because I actually really am in need of some more sleep stickers. That's a rogue set of scissors there. So then we have like doctors and health. We have nail stickers. I would love to get more into painting my nails. So good to have some stickers there. Then we get into work, which is a bit of a mishmash of lots of laptops and computers, but I think it's organized enough. I just like these sorts of doodles to all be together because it looks really satisfying. Got scripts there together. Got um, travel. So we've got flying and cars. Again, love how those food shop stickers look together. Then got general shopping. YouTube, social media stuff. I don't really mark anything related to finance, to be honest. I don't mark budgeting or anything like that, really. I don't mark payday, but I've kept all of these just in case I ever do. Again, these house ones, I like the idea of these. Well, I'm not sure these are for house. I think it looks like they're posting stickers, to be honest. Um, but these were all on the SPC freebies as well. And I keep them in the house section because I feel like they mark, they would work well for like if we were moving, so sort of packing and things. 
planning section, loving all those doodles looking together. The planning one is a mess. I don't mark planning that often. <laughs> so the planning one is a bit of a mess and I was trying to sort it out a bit. So on this page, we've kept planners mostly. Then we have washi tape, we have sticker sheets, of which I have many. I've kept all these pen pots from Planner Face because I do, well, I'm hoping to do calligraphy. I did a calligraphy class earlier in the year. My mum bought it at me as a Christmas present and I absolutely loved it. And Stuart bought me some really beautiful inks for Christmas as a total surprise. It was such a lovely present. So I'm hoping that I can really get into calligraphy in the new year because it's just so relaxing. Then I have scripts for planning, which is an absolute mess. And then some flat lays. Then I have kind of happy mail. So like I never use these envelopes. I don't really write letters or anything, but, and I do some, I do send cards, but I don't really mark it. So, you know, that I have a lot of them. Uh, then this is where things got a little bit messed up. So basically what I'd done is I had like a sheet where I'd written out how many pages I needed for each activity so that this was hopefully gonna be the last time I would ever have to reorganize all of my sections. And I just did not leave enough space for leisure stuff. So leisure stuff, I had to move back a page because gaming is nearly a whole page, but it's obviously encroaching into happy mail. So to be honest, if that happened, I never mark happy mail. So I'd maybe just get rid of all of those scripts. And then that would mean that leisure could move up here. And that would hopefully solve my problems because reading has, oh no, rogue little, rogue little podcast. This is the downside to reusable albums is that the stickers do in the main stick pretty well, but you can't guarantee that certain paper is going to stick really well. Like you just can't, every shop has different paper and you just can't guarantee that it will always stick. The issue that I find as well is if stuff's moved a fair amount, it doesn't necessarily like adhesive. That's not the right phrase, but to the paper as well. So that one is probably a goner, I would think, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I love all these book stickers all together. Then we've got more general reading. We've got phone. I have a lot of phone stickers, but I do mark phone calls. It's just, I really like these stickers from Planner Phase. These are in the kits and I don't always use them in the week. In fact, I've just seen I have a spare phone sticker that can go away here. I don't always use them in the week, but I do mark phone calls. And so I do like to keep them because then in the weeks when I do have a phone call, it's good to have the phone sticker because it's such a cute doodle. Then I have pets. I don't have any pets, but my parents have pets. <laughs> so I like to have them just in case we look after their pets. Then my cleaning section, we've got cleaning. This is such a mess of scripts there. Love how these vacuum stickers look together. So cute. So we've got vacuuming, gardening, dishes, bins. This is one of my favorite pages. I honestly don't really mark laundry. Like I do laundry, but I don't really mark it. But I think that this just looks so satisfying because it's like a square doodle. And um, Planner Phase and FPC have the same laundry doodles. So lots of laundry doodles. More laundry, <laughs> more laundry, like so much laundry. As I said, I don't really mark laundry, but I like laundry stickers. Then I have this section, which is called Holiday, which kind of has like Disney stickers, which obviously now we've been to Disney, I don't really know when I'll use them. But I do also have weather stickers here, which doesn't totally make sense, but I kind of know that they're there. Then I have, I don't know why I allowed myself a double page spread for this. See, again, something went wrong in my maths calculations because I don't need a double page spread here. So it's a bit annoying. Then we have birthday, which again, I love the, <laughs> the doodles looking so satisfying there. And I have some birthday scripts and just like general circle icons for birthdays. I honestly, I forget to mark people's birthdays. <laughs> I know when their birthdays are, but I don't always mark them in spreads. And then sometimes I'll mark some people's and not others. It's totally not consistent. Then I have emotions. So I have bad emotions and good emotions. I have more good emotion stickers because I use them less. <laughs> then I get into, this is called deco at the moment, but I think I need to change it to be seasons because this is actually what it is now. So I have spring, I have summer, I have Halloween, I have autumn. And then I have winter, which is really struggling. And again, I don't know why I didn't allow myself an extra page for winter. It's a bit silly, but hopefully I'll get through some of those this year because I haven't done any of my winter spreads yet. So this album is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's going to stay how it is for now and hopefully it's going to work. So now we're moving on to these other ones. <laughs> so this is for spare boxes. Now, what I need to do, I guess while on camera here, is figure out what I was planning to do here because you can see that I've got some boxes are in this album, which is the Sticking to My Plans album. And then I also have this album, 
And oh, I should say, these albums are all from Planet Face. I do PR for Planet Face, so you can use my code CAT10 to save 10% on your orders and add my name and notes to seller to pick up my freebie. Sorry that I forgot to say that at the beginning. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love these. It's just figuring out which is going to go in which one because here I have, I think this was originally my boxes album. You can see that I've got a lot of boxes in here. And I guess I was moving them to this album instead. Maybe because it was easier to move from one album to another rather than moving later in the album, which I do have to say, here is my tip for you if you are new to working with reusable albums, is it's a real pain if you set them up in one way and then you need to move stickers to later in the album. You're like putting them all on your hand and then moving them to the album. It is irritating. Like it just is, okay? So just to sort of let you know that. So it's much better if you can look at your whole collection and plan out what you actually think you're gonna need is a much better use of your time. Just, just a little tip from me to you there. So I think that's probably what I was doing because this is looking much more sorted than this. Well, the blues are looking sorted, but the pinks are not looking sorted. And I assume that is because I was trying to sort them into this one. So let's assume that's what I'm doing and I'll go with that. That's possibly because this would then mean that these would be the two reusable albums I would use the most, which are the ones with phrases on them. So that kind of probably makes sense to my brain. So what I need to do then is keep sorting. And what is irritating is that I have all my habit trackers in here. Habit trackers are beautiful, but a pain to move. They look so unbelievably satisfying though. Although, where are my pink planner face ones? Ah, have they moved somewhere else already? Okay, let's find out if they are in here somewhere. Those are all flags, quarter boxes. Huh, oh, oh, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, those are, there are the pink habit trackers, not as neatly sorted as these ones. These ones look stunning. This, These ones do not. So have I allowed myself enough pages here for this project? <laughs> I guess I'm happy for habit trackers to be at the end because I don't really use habit trackers uh, in my spreads. So, but I don't really like to get rid of them. At least I don't like to get rid of plan face ones. So, okay. So I guess that's my plan then is that I'm moving, I need to move habit trackers first so that they're out of here and then I can go back to moving boxes. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So in terms of what I'm going to watch while I'm doing this, I actually don't know. <laughs> I've cleared a lot of my watch later while doing these projects, which is great because my watch later was at about 400 videos. So it's great. I'm down to about 200 now, but a lot of them are like Sims videos and stuff, which I'm not really in the mood for. So I now need to figure out what I'm going to watch. What I think I need to watch is Hobonichi videos because I ultimately am a few days off needing to do my first weekly in a Hobonichi. And right now I cannot visualize what it's gonna look like. Part of me wants to watch Virgin River because I'm really behind. I'm on season five, If that is that the latest season or season four? Whichever is the latest season that's out. I watched a couple of episodes with my friend Emma and then didn't watch any more. <laughs> um, because you have to be in the mood for Virgin River. It's quite a depressing show. Um, but I really could do with watching those Hobonichi videos. So I think that's what I'm gonna do uh while I do this I think is the plan I won't be able to tell you who because I just have a load in my watch later of like ones I've randomly saved so I'm not watching one particular person I do have my glass of water as well I've just been filming this morning a video about my areas of focus which is what I'm calling my goals for 2023 and one of those is only one sugary drink a day so I'm trying to be much better about drinking water through the day I am pretty good when I'm at work it's when I'm not at work I'm not so good so I've got my water in my gorgeous calf kids and glass which my friend Sarah bought me for my birthday last year or for Christmas last year I'm not sure, but I love them anyway. So I've got that there to make sure that it's kind of there and I will drink it. So I'm gonna put on the time lapse so we can get working. So let me know in the comments down below, as usual, what is it that you're up to while watching this video? Are you sticker sorting? Are you planning? Are you just chilling? I would love to know, let me know down below. Otherwise, let's let the music start and let's go.
so that is the habit trackers done so i've gone for the planner face pinks like i tried to get it into a color order but if you've watched any of my book organization videos there's something about my brain that doesn't understand the rainbow <laughs> So I just don't understand going totally light from dark. So we have random light ones that should be here. This one, why didn't I move it? I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. I really don't look at this that often. I don't use habit trackers currently in spreads. I just save these for if I ever <laughs> will use them again. So I just like to have my planner face ones together because they look so satisfying together. So I have planner face ones, then I have non planner face ones. These are all from Strawberry Land Designs from, I think, from the Christmas countdown from a few years ago. So I have all of those there. I have left another double page spread for pink because pink is the area I have the most in all of my leftovers. And I have a couple of years worth of spares to put away. And so I don't know how many habit trackers there will be. And so I just didn't want to run out of space. Then I have the blues. I have so many blues. This I worked a little bit harder, I think, on the rainbow. Then I have non planner face blues. I could also, if I needed to, share this double page. So like this could be blue and this could be pink. That happens often with my um this kind of thing. Then I have purple. I have allowed more space for purple, green, and yellow because I'm I might not need it, but it's just in case I do. So before I had the planner face purples on one side and then non planner face the other side. But I think now I've just split it so that the non ones are here and I can move it around if I need to. Then we have green. So green planner face, non planner face. Then for yellow and orange, I've cut myself down to one page spread. I don't know what happened here. I must have not started high enough. I like really skirting across the bottom there. Um, but I've got like yellow, orange, brown, basically. Then I have red, which I always find red really hard to understand if something's red or pink. Then I have gray and that's it. And then we get into these are my spare square boxes. And I'm not sure that they will live in this reusable album or not. So that's the first part of this. I think I'm going to end this video here because I've looked at how long I've been filming and this is probably about the right sort of time for how long these videos are. So I think I'm going to stop this video here and then in the next part of this I am going to move on to boxes I think because I've cleared enough by moving the habit trackers. I've cleared enough room so that I should be able to put in yeah we've got a lot more room now. So I should be able to do a fair number of boxes before we then hit the next thing, which is checklists. So you can see I've got a few of those. So it's just like stuff like that that I need to sort. But I think I can move some boxes to start with, which would be great. So that's what I'm going to do, I think, in the next part. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this series. If you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate a like. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I will have a link in the description down below to all of my favorite shops, particularly Planner Phase, which is where all of these albums and most of my stickers are from. So if you do want to check out Anna's shop, there will be a link there and a reminder of my code CAT10. I will also have links in my description to my Instagram if you want to come and hang out with me on a more daily basis at peace.love.plan. And I will also have a link to my booktube channel if you're interested in book content, you want to see me really struggle with rainbow in physical form, go watch those sorting my shelves videos. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.